This is the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 3. Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kodash. Double honors to our venerable apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well. And peace and blessings to the Lord's elect, the house of David. All right, so brother Aharon coming back at you with another lesson. Lord willing to be edifying and uplifting unto the elect. All right, and um, you know, I'm in, uh, I'm in the, I'm in the uh, chariot right now. All right, and uh, just meditating. And uh, basically, I believe today is the 26th. Um, I did a video earlier going into the death all right, uh, of uh, so-called Lord Jacob Rothschild. Okay, that's a, that's a huge, huge uh, 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 win, right? Depending on how you look at it. All right, ultimately, I look at it as uh, through the spirit, as an omen. All right, but it's kind of interesting how uh, a week ago, all right, and I, I, I didn't touch on it because I was waiting to see, you know, what would happen, but we had this whole um, service outage, okay? Um, you know, people like like myself, a couple of brothers, you know, uh, phones and everything was out, right? Um, I believe they had uh, AT&T, T-Mobile, all right? Um, of course, you had Verizon and all these other uh, mobile companies, but a lot of them went down. All right, and uh, they were talking about is an outage and, uh, you know, it might have been a software bug and all this extra stuff. You know, and uh, there's a lot of theories out there, you know, as to what could have possibly happened on that day. I believe this was uh, on Tuesday, if I'm not mistaken. No, was it? No, it had to be Thursday. It's a lot here. All right, on Thursday. And, uh, <laughs> you know, people are saying that, oh, it's not, it's, it wasn't, you know, these companies are coming out and saying that it wasn't a cyber attack. Right, they're saying, they're saying, oh, it, you know, it was just a, 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 a software malfunction. It was definitely not a cyber attack. You know, they're putting it out there. And it's interesting because a couple of weeks ago, a few weeks ago, I believe it was towards the end of last year, if, if my memory ser serves me correct, uh, the FBI director, Christopher Ray. all right, he came out and said that, uh, you know, China, all right, they, 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 they're planning some form of cyber cyber attack and you know um they could it's going to take down the transportation it's going to take down the uh you know oil you know energy all kinds of different stuff right electricity you name it everything is going to be going down right and you know you sit back and you think about that and the reality of that actually happening okay because it already happened we just got a we just got a glimpse of it and though they said it was for about a few hours some people say it was for about 12 hours or so. Look at how much things changed. People were panicking. You know, you know, we're in the age of the internet now, so everyone, everyone videotapes everything. You know, you had chicks at, at, a, at a drive through crying because their phone says SOS. You know, they had no service. You know, you had uh, uh, people who do Uber. You know, they couldn't go, they couldn't work. You know, they got bills to pay, but it couldn't work because the, uh, the services were down, right? And that's one thing that a lot of people don't understand and they don't look at it that way. But when that day comes, when that day comes, they all going to look up and they're going to be like, yo, they're going to admire. Right now, they look at us like we're crazy, but soon they will admire the fact that we were able to see these things before they happened, years in, in advance before they happened. And we told them, you know, as we're preparing, you know, in the spirit, we can't really prepare to prepare too much carnally. Because ultimately, you got a lot of people who are very well prepared. Carnally weren't very well prepared. I mean, they, they got the ammo, they got the food, they got the water, they got the uh, um, medical supplies. You name it, they got it. But guess what? Some of them are not even going to live to enjoy these things, man. Okay? Some of them have all these underground uh, 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 storages, you know, preparing like doomsday preppers and all that. They've been preparing since 2010. Some, some of them even before that. All right. So imagine somebody who's been pre preparing since 2010, right? In the year 2024, you're looking at them like, yo, you guys are crazy. But really? Think about it. Really? With all the stuff that's going on around the world right now, hey, bro, you preparing is not, is not crazy. All right. There's a saying that says failing to prepare is preparing to fail. 
All right. And we know the majority of Americans today, the Babylonians are preparing to fail because the Lord set it up that way so they can be judged. OK, you got the prophets and you misuse the prophets. OK, you got you got firsthand knowledge of what's to come in the future and you didn't take heed. OK, and people are going to admire, again, the prophets for knowing all these things, all these years in advance, warning people to the T with details. And, 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 and it all happened and then where, 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 where are we at? You can't find us. You see, you, we'll be nowhere to be found because the Lord said he's going to close off the access. Okay, is that what Proverbs the first chapter? They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Okay, so who's going to be seeking who? Those who are of, of the, those who are not of the elect are going to be seeking. All right, the prophets for, for guidance, for advice, for uh, some form of, uh, you know, uh, 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 you know, rep reprieve, you know, uh, direction. You know, and they will listen. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. They will be willing to listen at that point, but it's going to be too late. You see, it's going to be too late. You know, and imagine the reality of this is not just a 12 hour thing. This happens just like that suddenly. Okay, nobody was expecting it. We just noticed that, yo, I'm calling, but ain't nobody, like, it's going straight to voicemail. And then later on, we found out on um, a lot of, um, Social media platforms were, pro uh, were posting, you know, that hey, there's been some outages in different parts of the country and so on and so forth. Now, imagine if those media platforms were also down. That's a whole state of confusion right there. Nobody could communicate with anyone. Okay, because you can't make phone calls. Remember, Americans and pretty much the world right now depends on the internet. Okay, and that dependency, all right, is going to be that 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 net. Okay, that that cat that catches a lot of these the a lot of these people who are not paying attention, man. Okay, it's it's crazy how the Lord created the internet, right? <laughs> and the elect through the internet have gained salvation. Okay, by listening to the words of the Lord, repenting, turning back to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay, and preparing their minds and our spirits for the return of our Lord. But even before that, all right, the hour of temptation. Okay, Jacob's trouble. These are all things that you say to people in the world and they look at you like you crazy. Like, what are you talking about? The hour of temptation, Jacob's trouble, what? See, so we are very privileged. We have, <laughs> hey, we have, uh, uh, we have a leg up in every situation moving forward, right? Isaiah um, 33 and 6 tells us that what? That wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times, okay? So that, that wisdom and knowledge that we have right now and will continue to build on is what's going to be our, our, our peace of mind. You know, because remember, when you're in trouble, you don't have peace of mind. You know, your mind is all topsy-turvy. <laughs> you know, it's up and down. You know, one day you think you got it. Hey, it tells you that in the book of Amos. I believe it says, uh, as a man uh, fleeth from a lion and then a bear met him. Right. And then and then, you know, as he as he flees away from the bear, he's walking out. He's touching up on the wall. You know, and then the serpent bit him. You know, these are all uh, uh, symbolic to tell you, to show you the troubles are going to be from every angle. You know, you're going to be coming up against people, you know, because in the times like that, desperate times call for desperate measures. People are going to be coming in hot, looking for whatever you got. They might be looking for you too, right? Because when you don't have protection, right, to protect the food, you and the food going to be food. You see? And a lot of people don't even think of anything as protecting food. What do you mean by that? They don't even got food to protect. Right? Most people are not even paying attention to what's going on because everyone is in so-called preservation mode. Most people are not paying attention to the surrounding uh, 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 news. People don't watch the news. They don't got time to be watching the news like that. You know? People are kind of like, oh, I mean, the news is all, is all fake. You know, it's mainstream media, BS. You know, they, they're buying into that. But they don't know anything else outside of that. Yeah, the news is fake, you know, it's mainstream media and all this BS, but what is your supplementary uh, news? Where, do you, where are you getting all your other information? Your alternative facts, so-called, right? So these people are completely lost, man. They have no way out, none, all right? Your government will fail you. We're telling you this right now through the spirit of Yahab Hashem Yashad. The American government will fail the American people, and it's all done by design. If the past four years haven't shown you something, then you're not going to change. You're not going to get it.
you're going to get crushed when this thing goes down. Are you going to be one of the first victims that this shit takes you away? You know? So, hey, man, you know, I, it's just it's just a lot, a lot of things that's going on that a lot of people are not prepared for. You know? And just this, what happened last week is, um, is a sign of what's to come next. You know, when the FBI uh, director comes out right and tells the world or tells the inhabitants of Babylon, you know, that we're going to be going through some type of cyber attack. Hold on, back. We're going to be uh, uh, experiencing some form of cyber attack from damn uh, China and shit, you know, then it, it, that, that's all you need to know. You know, that's all you need to know. They let you know straight up. Yeah, we're going to be attacked by China. You know, uh, they're going to attack our infrastructure, you know, and just like Klaus Schwab said, you know, uh, a cyber attack will, will, you know, he said, pay insufficient attention to the frightening scenario of a comprehensive cyber attack. <laughs> you know, I, lo I love when he says that shit because it's just, look at it, the, the pride of these devils, man. You know, but he, he sits in his chair and he's he's seething, he's seething, like he, he's just like chomping at the bit. You know, he can't wait. You know, he, he's like he can't he's, he, he, he can't even sit down straight. He's getting out of his seat, his little nasty ass fingers crunched together. You know, he just oh like oh we can't wait to get this like you know. <laughs> hey, so hey, we pray how about you shall protect us in these days, man? Because he did say that his sword is being sharpened. Okay, a sword is being sharpened and it's being what? It's being, uh, it's going to be given into the hand of the slayer. Okay, and what is the slayer going to do? He's going to slay. You don't just sharpen your sword. If you're a slayer, you're not sharpening your sword that you used to slay just to sit around. Look what Cristobal, Cristobal Colon did when he came over to the Americas. When he came over to the, the, the island of, of, of Española. You know, I believe he said uh, that not an hour passed by that he didn't have a sword on him or something to that effect. Right, so it's in, it's in their nature. I mean, Esau is always doing tests. What do you think they're doing out there in Gaza? You know, the whole Hamas situation is all testing the new uh, military grade style weapons for World War Three. You know, and ultimately to use against the main, many different uh, uh, populations that may arise against the so-called New World Order when they finally bring it out into the public, as it mandated. Because right now it's already out. Right, we're living in the New World Order. All right, but it's going to be capped off, okay? They call it a new normal. It's going to be capped off when the MOTB finally comes out. You know, when they when they start persecuting you, all right, for your for your religious uh, uh, beliefs. You know what I'm saying? On a whole another level. I mean, people are going to get arrested. You know, you get you get people getting arrested and beat up and shot up now. You know, so-called Christian pastors getting abused, used, and abused. All right, but it's going to be turned up, all the way up because they want to focus on the prophets. We are the problem, so-called, you see. So, hey, all the warnings, you know, I've gone out. Now, just imagine that when that day comes and it could happen at night, you know, you just wake up the next morning and just like everything is just down or it could happen during the day. You're just going about your regular day and then everything just goes down. And now you're just like, oh shit, what's going on? There's no form of communication. There's no way to speak to anyone you know you're blocked off you have no idea what's going on nobody knows what's going on you know so hey and that's that's gonna cause a lot of problems a lot of problems because America depends on the internet so any disruption to the internet access will cause a disruption major major disruption to people's lives people who are um, on medication this is going to uh, disrupt that. You know, people who use these various apps for work so you can make your money, right? Whether it be uh, Uber, Lyft, whatever the case may be, once those services are down, you can't work. You can't make no money. Now, imagine if all these services went down and then the only way you can get back up to use it is by validating your identity via biometrics. You see? And next thing you know, now, oh, uh, we just got attacked, cyber, da da da, whatever. We need to identify what's going on, who's who's doing what. So, yeah, moving forward, we're gonna be doing uh, through AI. We're gonna be able to have you uh, digitally 
uh, identified. So you must have a digital ID. That's how it's going to be. You know, Trump might come in or whoever before Trump, whatever happens, he might come in and hit, hit people with the law and order. You know, oh, look at all this stuff that's going down. The infrastructure is destroyed. America is pretty much out of here. Third world country, uh, 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 you know, terrorists left and right. All right. Uh, 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 So-called migrants attacking and beating people up, gangs and all that. I mean, they're going to group it all in. Okay, and then they're gonna say, look, Trump might come out and say, we need to bring order back. We need to establish order. We need to take our country back. And the first order of business is to identify all these criminals. So moving forward, we're gonna put the 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 the, the new ID Act, you know, the, the Beast Act, the MOTB Act or something. They're gonna put it out. You know, I've declared an emergency use that all Americans use the uh, uh, by May this or June this all Americans must have a digital identification if you want to be a part of our country we're taking our country back Biden has destroyed it and we're gonna bring law and order back into this country we're gonna do things how our founding fathers were supposed to like he's gonna rouse everyone up and then he's gonna come in and say everyone has to have a digital identification you know and then next thing you know it becomes a mainstay and we at that point, you know, we at that point, man. But hey, you know, a lot of things are happening, man. You know, I just want to, you know, tap into it real quick. You know, it's just on my mind. I just I was like, you know what? Let me just let me just do a quick official on that because, you know, these things are happening on a daily basis. You know, and people are so desensitized to some of these things that they don't even take it seriously. You know, it's happening, but nobody's really paying attention. That's why I say it's going to come as a thief in the night. Okay, it's because people are not paying attention, bro. They're not paying attention to what's going on. Everyone is distracted, desensitized, you know, and they'll much rather just do something else rather than pay attention to reality. Why do you think people are purchasing all this stupid ass gadgets? The Apple glasses, Apple face mask, whatever, whatever should they have on their foreheads now? You know, and people are saying, well, what's the point of even going outside? Like, we got it all in here. We got them. They got him. Okay. So it's all the preparation to the MOTB. All right. So the infrastructure and all that going down is all the preparation also to get to the MOTB. All right. All roads lead to the MOTB. All right. It's never, it doesn't end before the MOTB. They're going to come out with biometrics, what they already have. They're going to implement it into society. They already have. They're going to get the people to start using it they already have and as soon they have to cause another emergency that that upscales the use of that new technology oh because of this now we have to do this this and that so now moving forward if you're not part of this this and that you cannot be here you know and that's how they're going to play it out you know or i should say it's a possible way of how they could play it out right because ultimately, it's Yahweh Bash Mihal Shah who sets it up anyway. So, whatever spirit he puts on these devils to go, hey, we're going to see it. You know, we're going to see it, man. But I just wanted to bring that out real quick, you know, through the spirit. Um, I'm going to end it off here. Lord willing, you were edified. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kodash. The water, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. And until next time, Shalom.